Hi guys, this is Farmer Mo here. Welcome back to FS23 and New Brune, episode 2 of our Let's Play series. Last episode we harvested field 1 and then cultivated and planted all three fields with canola. Uh, we didn't sleep, so let's sleep to get to the next day. Okay, so it's a beautiful September morning. Looks like the crops have germinated, so today we can probably fertilize them again so that we get 100% yield from fertilizing. Let's look at the map. We can see they all have weeds, so we'll be using that sprayer as well to put some herbicide. And then fertilizing, they've got the first stage. So we'll be applying the second stage. Let's maybe just look at the animals as well, the chickens. Uh, they still have more than enough feed. Uh, so let's get cracking on the fertilizing and the herbicide spray. So we'll start in field number one. And then we'll go and get the other tractor as well to get the herbicide done on one of the other fields. So the two masses will be doing the work today. The John Deere will probably use later on to cultivate again after we've harvested these fields, but that will be in another couple of days when we are able to harvest. Let's just get the sprayer on this. There we go. Backing up nicely and it's attached. So let's start with this field on the left here get the herbicide done and then we'll start swapping the tractors around so that all the fields get herbicide and fertilizing and we'll put it on a worker again most of these jobs definitely looks like uh, using a worker is, is the way to go in, in FS23 Now worker can take care of this and we can go and look at that other field. The fertilizing is done so we'll move the tractor with the fertilizer spreader to the next field. So here we are at field number two. We'll set this on a worker and uh, like last time two passes the spreader is very nice and wide. Uh, let's see what the other worker has been doing with the herbicide okay he's just carrying along he's gonna turn around he's done the first row so with the herbicide it looks like we'll be doing three passes probably all the fuels will be three passes so we've moved on from field three with the herbicide we're now on field two the fertilizer spreader because it's so wide is very quick and we actually finished all three fields already so we'll get the herbicide done and then we'll probably have to skip two or three days to get to a point where the canola is ready to be harvested. Let's go put this uh, spreader away and hook this track up to the trailer so that we can give the chicken some food in some of the next days. So the worker is now pretty much done with field two as well with the herbicide. Just the last piece here, and then on to field one, and then we can pass some time. As you can see, it started to rain while we were busy with the last field of herbicide, but that shouldn't be a problem. The weeds are still being killed, the rain is not washing it away. And yeah, we, we're basically done. So then we can move on. There we can see on the map that all the weeds are died. And uh, we're going to probably skip now to 
probably December. I doubt that the canola will be ready in October, November. It will probably be December, and I think that's the time that the price is also the best for canola. So we slept through October and November and we're now in December and it's snowing. Um, we will need to feed the chickens and we can see if the crops is ready to be harvested now. I don't know if snow affects the yield like rain does. If it does then we'll just have to wait it out a little bit before we can uh, harvest it. Let's see, where is the canola's price the best? So canola's price is basically best this time of year and it is best at the feed and grain north. So I think we'll be selling the canola straight off the field. Let's tag that place. So we're in the harvester. Let's see if it will allow us to harvest. No, it says while it rains it reduces yield. So see snow the same as it sees rain so we'll just wait and maybe just check the weather but it'll probably just be an hour or two well based on that by 10 o'clock it should stop so we'll just set the time a bit faster and wait till it stops snowing and then we can start harvesting times 90 so Basically an hour is, is like, what is it, 40 seconds. So yeah, let's just wait for that to pass. Just over an hour has passed and it stops snowing now. So we can start the harvester and get it onto a worker. And you can see I brought the tractor with some of the wheat over so that we can just feed the chickens again and so that they can be okay for another couple of months again. Let's just get this tractor turned around. I've been having issues finding the trigger with uh, this trailer and tractor. Same as the previous time I came around from the other side and let's see, yeah, this side it's easier to find the trigger. It wasn't completely empty so they'll probably take about 600 lit odd liters so let's go put the remaining wheat in the silo and then we can get on to the next job. As we don't have much to do and the harvest is like three quarters of the way through this field I started the cultivator already to start cultivating the field. Let's have a look at what we're going to plant and what's going to be at a good price in six months from now. So six months from now we're looking at June, July and basically all the normal crops, the wheat, the barleys, the canola, those things are not good but the soybeans, soybeans will be a good price around July, August. So. Yeah, let's take the cedar and start drilling this field, change it to soybeans. Uh, we need to put in some seeds. And we can set the worker off here on uh, this field also, so we can turn this field around. The harvester is nearly done. You can see there on the far end uh, the John Deere with a with the cultivator is doing his thing. We've only done about three or four rows so far. But, uh, let's get cracking. So I cleaned up the last bit of canola and uh, let's empty the combine. The combine is pretty much nearly full. It takes eight and a half thousand. The trailer only takes eight thousand. So the trailer is going to be very, very close to full. And then we'll get this combine to start on the next field and we'll go and sell this canola. It's the best time of year for the price and we need to get some money so that we can 
somewhere in the next episode or two look at starting using a production. Let's get this uh, combine moved over to field number two. See if we can set it so that it will drive there and start harvesting by itself. So we select field work. Combine is selected. We need to change the position. Field work. Target position. Okay, and we put it there. I don't know if it's if it will know it must start on the edge or if it's just literally now going to start one row in. But that's not the end of the world. If it does that, then we'll just clean it up. Job started. Okay. Is it going? Uh, it's closing, unfold, uh, it's folding, and there it goes. So we've driven the Massey Ferguson with the trailer and canola all the way to this uh, silo in the north. Let's see how much we get. Should be about 8,000 liters at about 2,000, so I would expect somewhere around 16,000. So it must not have been quite 8,000, it must have been around 7,000 liters, but that's okay. I mean, first, first fuel that we harvest that we planted ourselves, we've got three of them and they'll all roughly be about the same. Now let's get back to this tractor. Wait, one thing. While we're here, I want to see what the production of the oil mill cost. Because that's probably something that we're going to do. It's probably one of the first productions that we'll try to get. Because the, the price for oil versus the price for canola, you get more than double out of it. So maybe that's an option. But 80,000, that's quite a bit. The seed and cultivator is still merrily going along on this other field. The harvester has stopped, but I think there's a piece on the edge there that, that was missed, so we're going to clean that up quickly. And then we can probably empty this again and go sell it. And then we can get on to the last field. Guys, but so that oil mill I think is an option. We won't have enough money after this episode, but maybe after we do the soybeans, um, that will probably put us in a position where we could afford the 80,000. We'll obviously have to also buy that pallet trailer because we won't be able to load the pallets without that trailer. We'll need that pallet trailer in any case to um, move the chicken eggs. So uh, maybe in the comments let me know what you think, if you think we should go some other way, the other option is the grain mill, but uh, even though the grain mill is cheap, I think the grain mill is 50k, the uh, returns on the grain mill, you get about 40% more in terms of value for your money uh, that you harvest the wheat and, and, and barley and oat and, and those things than you would get on canola you would get about 160 percent more so it's, it's more than double that you're going to get out of canola oil versus canola so we've emptied the combine and uh, the combine is now ready on field one and this time i'm going to let the worker take this massive ferguson to the cell point let's just get this uh, going i'm still struggling a little bit getting these jobs to do what I want, but I'll get the hang of it. Confirm, rotate, 
Yep. And then uh, we'll see you when the work is there so that we can see how much we get. But I would expect something very similar, 14, 15k. So we arrive at the cell point. Let's see how much we get for this load. The two workers that was cultivating and seeding the other field, they done, they moving on to the next field. The combine is on the last one. But uh, I think after this we're gonna call it a day for this episode. And then I'll do the rest of this harvesting and seeding in the next episode and we got 14,200 the price is probably going down slightly um, because of us selling canola and I mean that they do say that uh, it's demand based so if you don't sell a crop a lot the prices will go up if you sell a crop a lot the prices will go down so that's definitely the case here The machine trailer is back, so we can empty the combine, but it, it won't be full yet, and I doubt it will be full for this whole field. But I think, guys, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call it quits for this episode. Obviously, we won't be finishing everything. Um, we'll do part of it in the next episode, and uh, let me know what you think. Should we be looking at grain mill or the oil for the production or do you have something else in mind that you think we should do I think after the soybeans we should have enough to buy one of them um, we will also need to buy that trailer and then we'll slowly progress from there I would really like to get a bigger tractor so we can get a direct drill a bigger seeder um, but that's not possible at the moment well thank you guys for watching today's episode and uh, I hope you see you in the next one and have a great day cheers